In this video, I'm going to show you the 15 most amazing places on the South Island of New Zealand and I'll also show you exactly where these places are located on the map. We were going on a ferry from the North Island of New Zealand to the South Island. The ferry goes from Wellington to Picton and takes a few hours. Picton is a coastal city between two mountain tops. There are only 4,300 people living in Picton. Number 2, Charleston is a village on the west side of New Zealand and was founded as a gold mining town in 1867. There are cool limestone formations and surprisingly large types of grass covering the city. The gold mining activities taking place in the late 1800s left its traces. A chemical called potassium cyanide can be found in the area. It's a highly toxic and fatal chemical that will kill you in just 20 minutes if you drink it. It has been used in the United States for the death penalty. Here we have some sort of deadly little pool with a bunch of black water. Number 3, the Pancake Rocks, located further down on the west side, is an area with eroded limestone formations, where the seawater comes in through several caves. Here we have the Pancake Rocks. 35 million years ago this place was all underwater and that's when all these formations were created. Coming up is the historic Ross Gold Fields. This is the Ross Gold Fields. And it's time to find some gold. There's a gold digger, one smaller, one bigger. Gold digger, one smaller, one bigger. Between the 1860s and 1910, this place was packed with people digging for gold. The Ross Gold Fields is a historic site. The very first place where they found gold was just up the mountain here and after that people became crazy and people started pouring into this city just to dig for gold. I only found the gold ring that you can now buy from my website. In this area you can also find sodium fluoracetate. Only 3 teaspoons of this liquid will kill a human. Now here comes number 5, the Franz Josef Glacier. It's a glacier with lots of waterfalls and glacier water coming down from the mountains. If you want, you can do a guided tour through the glacier. In the area around the glacier, you will also see lots of other cool stuff. Right around the corner you have number 6, Lake Maparika. This is Lake Maparika and it's time to go for a swim. Around the Lake Maparika area, you will find lots of interesting things to see. For example, the highland cattle with long hair and also many different scenic views that you will see in the next minute. I'm seeing a bridge and it's really bouncy actually. Here we have the Kahikatea trees and they are the tallest trees in all of New Zealand. They can get up to 60 meters tall. The landscape is really humid and you can see that everything is green here. In this area, you will enjoy walking through the green and thick forest, seeing the small waterfalls and also seeing the dramatic mountains behind the lake. What I like about New Zealand is how free everything is. New Zealand was founded in the year 1856 and perhaps that's why the country still looks really nice. The warning signs you saw in the beginning is just because of this area right here. In just a few minutes it can all be flooded and be underwater. It's time to go swimming in the glacier lake right here where it's only 6 degrees celsius. There are many glacier lakes in this area. Shit, that was really cold but it was fun. Don't forget to buy my vacation shirt. Coming up is number 7, the Blue Pools, which is my favorite one. It's probably the clearest water you could ever see. It's 
time to go swimming. The water in the glacier lakes is only a few degrees Celsius and it's the most refreshing feeling ever. Coming up we have number 8, Lake Wanaka. This is Lake Wanaka, New Zealand's fourth biggest lake. And it has a depth of 300 meters. This lake is 42 kilometers long and 10 kilometers wide. Only a few hundred meters further away, we have the next location. Just around the corner, we have another lake called Lake Hawea. Lake Hawea is 392 meters deep. Whatever it was that made this world come into an existence is an intelligent artist. On the way to number 10, you will see some clean waterfalls. Here we have Queenstown, New Zealand. What an amazing city. Queenstown is a small and unique city located in between incredible mountains called the Southern Alps. And in between the mountains we have Lake Wakatipu. There is a beach in the middle of the city where tourists gather to enjoy the sunset between the mountains. Looking out from the city, you have a great view of the dramatic Southern Alps. This is number 11, Milford Sound, which is arguably the most famous place in all of New Zealand. A boat trip takes you out through the mountains leading out to the open sea. Sanctuary. A lot of scientists still don't know how the birds evolved, but they think that they came from the dinosaurs. But how could the birds come from dinosaurs when they are so much smaller than what the dinosaurs were? Scientists argue that dinosaurs and birds have the same hollow skeletons, movement and body shape, and that when the dinosaurs went extinct, only the smaller reptiles survived and developed wings. I have never in my life seen this many sheep in one place. Now here comes number 12, the Clifton Caves. A cave system deep inside the grass field mountains. There are three entrances to the cave and the longest hike takes 40 minutes. I've been walking for about five minutes and uh, it's really small and dark in here. It opens up here, yeah. Just came out from the cave and it's really green here. Here we have the beginning of the south part of New Zealand. There are a lot of beaches with a grayish color to the sand and lots of green grass area. The very south part of New Zealand is among the nicer areas you can see in the country. There are sheep running free on the side of the road and there is also a road that goes right next to the ocean. There are many incredible beaches along the way leading up to number 13, the Nugget Point. It is believed that most of New Zealand was being formed 540 million years ago by volcanoes erupting, depositing ash onto the sea floor, which is now underlaying most of New Zealand. If you go down to the beach in these areas, you can also see huge seals.
mother and I were walking through some of the trees with amazing flowers that you can see in this area of New Zealand. The south and southeastern part of New Zealand is also very amazing, covering hundreds of kilometers with steep green grass hills. Now here comes number 14, Uamaru, where penguins live inside of the buildings in the city. The males go out hunting for food all day and come back from the ocean in the Some evening. Some of the penguins are starting to make it up here on the streets. This is number 15, Christchurch. The city of Christchurch is not so nice, but in the eastern part you have some more amazing grass-covered mountains. Please follow me on social media and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.